more than five million rounds of ammo have been fired from the Army's tough new helicopter, the OH-6A Cayuse. Its mission, observation, reconnaissance, command control and target acquisition. Its record, in four months, 30,000 combat hours, 72% availability and a new record for survivability. Ask the crew of this LOH. They're from Charlie Troop, 3rd Squadron, 17th Air Cavalry. Enemy ground fire forced them into a tree 20 long miles from base camp. The crash ripped off the right landing gear skid and shattered most of the plexiglass bubble, driving a four-inch diameter tree between the pilot and observer. But in spite of the damage, the ship brought the pilot and crew back safely. In 60,000 flight hours, there has not been a single injury due to dynamic component failure. It's a tough helicopter for a tough war. This is the helicopter which holds 23 world's records including speed, altitude, and distance in its class. More world's records than any helicopter ever built. The overall size is small, just a little over 30 feet in length from main rotor blade to tail rotor blade tip. The Cayuse has been designed for minimum maintenance. Direct maintenance man hours are less than one half hour per hour of flight. Periodic or major inspections are conducted at 300 hour intervals. Major component overhaul is at 1,200 hour minimum intervals. No daily maintenance, service, or adjustments other than fuel and oil are required. Look at some of the features which enable the Cayuse to achieve these remarkable low maintenance standards. The Cayuse, which has a design gross of 2,400 pounds, is powered by the Allison T-63A 5A turbine engine. This engine may be removed and replaced in one hour. The main gearbox has only four main gears with just two gear meshes. Since the gearbox has its own internal oil system, no separate oil cooler is required. This is the simplest transmission ever developed for a helicopter. Lubricated bearings, normally found in the rotor system of other helicopters, have been eliminated by Hughes engineers with their design of the flex rotor. This lightweight system consists of 15 high strength stainless steel straps, which support the rotor blades twice the number of straps needed. These straps allow the blades to flap and to vary in pitch angle. No maintenance is normally required between major overhauls. These scenes from Vietnam show a blade that hit a tree and yet the pilot flew this Cayuse home. There is no question regarding the superior safety and reliability of the OH-6A. The A-frame construction, while primarily designed to give rigidity to the main fuselage, has a secondary function of a roll bar effect during crash landing. The roll bar protection, coupled with the energy absorbing design of the structure, has proven the OH-6A to be the most survivable helicopter ever designed. Because of its simple direct push-pull rod primary flight control system, there is no need for high maintenance, stability augmentation systems, or hydraulic servos. There are no lubrication fittings on the entire aircraft. From its rugged aluminum alloy structure to its unique, easily maintainable operating features, the OH-6A is ideally suited for its mission. Capable of high speeds in excess of 150 miles per hour, extremely maneuverable due to its small size, lightweight, and aerodynamic design. It can carry four combat-equipped troops in addition to its pilot and fuel. The Cayuse is manufactured at Hughes Culver City, California facility. Five production lines, each measuring 350 feet in length, are used to manufacture the Cayuse. Hughes completely fabricates the main rotor blades from initial assembly to bonding, painting, and balancing. Production will soon begin on the commercial counterpart of the Army's Cayuse. The world's most tested light observation helicopter will be available in Hughes's new Model 500. This ship fills the need for a safe, tough, proven workhorse at an economical price. The 500 is the same basic ship that the Army used to set 23 world records for speed, distance, and climbing ability. Deliveries on the 500 are expected to begin this year. Soon, this tested, proven, reliable helicopter will be available for commercial use. 